Hello everyone, very good afternoon to all of you. So guys, welcome back to yet another wonderful session of our discussion of previous year questions of UGC Net English Literature. So I welcome all of you to this channel, this live session to discuss the previous year questions. So guys, as much we can do the previous year questions, that much you can prepare very well guys so i request all of you to join very fast very soon so that we can start our session without any delay so guys we can wait some more moment yes sorry yes students are joining students are joining let's wait some more moment some moments to join them also yes sunita is here already here yes sunita very, very, very good afternoon, Sunita. How are you? How are you, Sunita? How is your preparation going on? Is it fine? Cool? All right. Okay. So, let's wait some moment. Yes. Yeah, good. All right. Fine, Sunita. Very, very, very good. Yes. Somebody has joined. Please. Can you please tell me your name? Apart from Sunita, somebody has joined. Yes, Mariam. Okay, very good afternoon, Mariam. Very good afternoon. Yes, Mariam. Yeah. Hello, Anjali. Hello, Anjali. Deepkesh. Yes, they have already joined. Yeah. All right, so let's start our discussion of previous year questions. So before going to our discussion of previous year questions, so let's remind you one more thing. See guys, tomorrow you will be having a scholarship exam which was connect, which is going to be connected by IFAS team so that you will get certificate which is provided from IFAS, digital certificate which is provided from IFAS. So, don't be denied to enroll in this test mania which is exclusively conducting for gate examination. So, tomorrow is your scholarship examination from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Within this hours, within this hour, you can attend your scholarship exam according to your, uh, yeah, sorry, according to your convenience from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So, don't forget the date that is tomorrow, 24th November 2023. So, if you enroll in this Gate Testomania series, then you will get test series, then lecture series, lecture series along with IFAS certificate also. So, 3 in 1 package is going to give you from IFAS team only for you guys. So, Ankita, Sunita, Mariam. So guys, don't ignore this message. Tomorrow is your scholarship exam. Go and work hard and attend this scholarship exam. Grab this opportunity. Test series, lecture series and IFAS certificate with IFAS team. Okay? Alright. So let's start the first question. See, your first question is here. So can you see the question? Guys, can you see the question? Yeah? Yes. Ankita? Very good afternoon, Ankita. Yes. Your first question is here. Your first question is, identify from the following work, Niraj Chaudhary, following work of Niraj C. Chaudhary called 
the finest novel not niraj sri choudhary's novel but identify from the following work that niraj sri choudhary called the finest novel in english language with an indian theme the finest novel in the english english language with an indian theme so what is what do you what is the novel so which is the novel among the options so you have the options option a is scheme option b is passage to india option c is train to pakistan and option c is private life of indian prince yes mausmi is here very good afternoon mausmi this is your first question so try to attend this question yes C is the answer for this question according to mouse me. Another option is here that is B, right? Another option is B, right? All right. Another option is B. Okay. All right. Any other options? Mariam, where is your option? Mariam is here. Then, yeah, Sunuda told the answer. Yes. My dear, very, very, very dear concurrent viewers, please tell me the answer. Yes, a passage to India, 1959. Oh my God, this much sharp you are. Okay, let's see the answer. See, the answer is option A, Kim. Okay, so the answer is option A, King. Okay, so Kim is, see, this novel is, this novel is, yeah, described by Nirasti Choudhury that the finest novel in the English language with an Indian theme. So, who wrote the novel, Kim? Can you mention the authors of King, A Passage to India, Train to Pakistan, Private Life of an Indian Prince? Can you mention? Yes. Who wrote the novels? Tell me the answers. Kim Bai? Yes, Rudyard Kipling. Very good. Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling is the an sorry Rudyard Kipling is the author of King Kim. Then a passage to India. Who wrote Passage to India? Who wrote Passage to India? Yes. Yes, Passage to India is written by E. M. Foster, right? E. M. Foster. Passage to India by E.M. Foster. Yeah, then, then we have Train to Pakistan. Who wrote Train to Pakistan? Tell me. Yes, who wrote Train to Pakistan? Yes, it is by Kushwan Singh, right? Train to Pakistan is written by... Kushwan Singh. Kushwan Singh. All right, Kushwan Singh. Then another novel is Private Life of an Indian Prince. Yes. Tell me who wrote this novel? Private Private Life of an Indian Prince. Yes. Yeah, it is none other than. Yeah, it is none other than Mulkraj Anand. Okay, it is none other than Mulkraj Anand. Okay, don't worry, Sunida, don't worry. All right, okay. So, yes, so this is the author. So, Kim is written by Rudyard Kipling. Passage to India is written by E.M. Foster. Train to Pakistan is written by Kushwan Singh. And... Private Life of an Indian Prince is written by 
Mulgraj Anand. So moving towards the next question. So next question is here. Next question is second question is who is the author of the poem The Defense of Lucknow dealing with the siege of Lucknow, one of the terrible incidents of the Indian mutiny? So who is the author of the poem Defense of Lucknow? Okay, Defense of Lucknow dealing with the siege of Lucknow. Yes, we have the options Rudyard Kipling, Edward Lear, Edward Lear Alfred, Lord, Alfred Lord Tennyson, then Robert Browning. Yes, according to Mariam, the option is option. Yeah, option C, Alfred Lord Tennyson. All right, any other options? Any other options, guys? Yes. Yeah, your yeah, option C. Yeah, Sridha is saying option C, right? Option C, right? Okay, let's see the answer. Alfred Lord Tennyson. Yes, the answer is Alfred Lord Tennyson. The siege of the defense of Lucknow. Okay, yes, Ankita, yes, Mausmi. The answer is option C, Alfred Lord Tennyson. Yes, your third question is here. Who among the following? Who among the following? Theorist holds that metaphor and metonymy are the two fundamental structures of language. Who among the following theories holds that metaphor and metonymy are the two fundamental structures of language? Yes, option C, Roman Jacobson, all right. Roman Jacobson, all right. Yes, Shivani, very good afternoon. Very, very, very good afternoon, Shivani. Yes, Shivani, this is your third question. Yeah. Option C, Sunita, option C is the right answer. All right. Let's see. Let's see the right answer here. See, the right answer is Roman Jacobson, obviously. So, this is the second repeating question, right? Second time it is repeating. Next question is here. Next question is from among the following, who are the Dashwood sisters in Jane Austen's Sense and Sensibility? So Jane Austen wrote Jane Austen wrote Sense and Sensibility, right? Sense and Sensibility. So who are the two Dashwood sisters? So we have the options. Option A, Eleanor. Option B is, yeah, no, yeah, option B, that is second option is Maria, uh, third option is Mary and fourth option is Amanda. Yes, Maria is going with option A, 1 and 3, right? 1 and 3, all, all right? Okay, Shivani is also going with, Mausmi is also going with, okay. So, you, you have read, you, you have read, uh, Yes, Eleanor, Marine. Have you read? Uh, have you read the Sense and Sensibility? Have you read Sense and Sensibility? Okay, all right. So let's check the answer. This is your. This was your fourth question, right? This was your fourth question. All right. So let's check the answer. See the answer is option B is the right answer. Okay, option B is the right answer. One and two. Eleanor and Marianne. Marianne. Okay, Marianne or Marianne. Eleanor and Marianne were the Dashwood sisters. Okay? Alright. So next question is here. Which among the following texts can be characterized as a lesbian building Roman? So given below. We have four options. From among the four options, we have to find out the lesbian buildings Roman. So, the options are option A is Angela, Angela Carter's The Magic Toy Shop. Option B is Sylvia Platt's The Bell Jar. Option C is Janet Winters, Winterson's Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit. And option D is Ruth Power. 
Jabal, that is, ja, ja, yeah, Jabal was heat and dust. Heat and dust. Yes, tell me the answer, guys. Yes, tell me the answer, guys. No options. Option B, right? Severe plus the belcha. Okay, your time is end up. That is Jenna Winterson's. Oranges are not the only fruit. Okay. Option C is the right answer. Oranges are not the only fruit. All right. So, next question is here. Next question is here. This is your sixth question, right? This is your sixth question. C. Identify the correct chronological sequence of publication. Identify the correct chronological sequence of publication. So, Option A, we have the options Paradise Lost, the Advancement of Learning, an essay concerning human understanding, then Mac Flecknow. Yes, Prakash, after a long time you joined this party live. Why? Very good afternoon, Prakash. Yes, what happened, Prakash? Before Diwali, you were an active, an active participant, but after Diwali, I didn't see you. I didn't see you. Yes. Prakash, this is our sixth question. So, tell me the answer. We have the options Paradise Lost, the Advancement of Learning, and Essay Concerning Human Understanding. Max like now is also there. So, tell me the answer, guys. Chronological order. If you know, which book is published in which year by whom? Then you can solve this question very easily. Yes, Prakash, Sunita, Ankita, Shivani, Mariam, Mosmi. Tell me the answer. Option C. Okay, let's check whether it is option C or not. Let's check. Busy, you are busy. Okay. Because of your examination, don't miss out the classes, okay, Prakash? Don't miss out. Yeah, option C. Yeah. Okay. So, let us see. Yes, guys. Option C is the right answer. Okay. First, the advancement of learning. Who wrote the work, the advancement of learning? Yes. Who wrote the work, The Advancement of Learning? It is by Francis Bacon, all right. It is by Francis Bacon. So, Advancement of Learning by Francis Bacon. That, that is in the, yeah, Francis Bacon. Bacon's essays are in the, Francis Bacon's essay is um, during which year? Jacobian, Elizabethan Jacobian age, right? Jacobian age. Right? Then we have Paradise Lost. Who wrote Paradise Lost? Who wrote Paradise Lost? None other than John Milton. John Milton in the Puritan age, right? In the Puritan age. Then we have Max Legno. Who wrote Max Legno? Who wrote Max Legno? In which year? In which age? By John Dryden. By John Dryden. By John Dryden. In Restoration Age, right? <coughs> Sorry, in the restoration age, right? An essay concerning human understanding. Who wrote this? An essay concerning human understanding. Who wrote this?
Yeah. That is by John Locke. Right. That is by John Locke. In which year? John Locke was in which year? Yeah. In the 17th century during neoclassical period. Right. During neoclassical period, or we can see around the neoclassical period of 17th century. Right. So, first we have Jacobin age, then we have Puritan age, then we have Restoration age, then we have neoclassical age. So, this is the order. This is the right order. All right. Yeah. So, moving towards the next question. Before moving towards the next question. So, guys, there is a bright, very vibrant slide behind me. So, what you are seeing, thinking about this? Just looking like wow, right? Just looking like wow. So, are your faces going you, going to give you just looking like wow offers to you? So, guys. If you are a real aspirant of GATE, GATE examination along with the SIT and NET examination. So, if we are preparing for GATE examination, then we are going to you the exclusive recorded courses. The exclusive recorded courses for GATE 2024. Okay, for GATE 2024 with 50. 50 percentage of in fees so flat 50 percentage of you will get so in order to get more information you can click on the come on the link that is in the comment box okay so that is pinned in the comment box so you can click on the link and it will be open to our website it will reach you to the website and from that website you will get all the information or just give a call to the number which is mentioned in the comment box. Then you will get all the details, all the details about the enrolling to this recorded courses. So that if you access this recorded courses for gate, which is exclusively recorded for gate examination, then you can prepare according to your convenience okay so according to your convenient time you can prepare for your gate examination so that is the very 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 important thing for this so don't ignore this thing enroll right now grab this opportunity flat 50 percentage of four year gate 2024 examination all right so moving towards the next question for you guys Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar, sorry, I said. Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, which which work The Raven. Edgar Allan Poe's. The raven mourns the death of Poe's what? So, Edgar Allan Poe's work, the raven mourns the death of Edgar Allan Poe's whom? So, we have the options here. Los Leonard, Los Abigail, Pet Animal, Lost Heritage. Yes, instant answer from Sunita. The answer is option A, right? Answer is option A, right? All right. Okay. All right. Fine. So, let's check the answer. See, answer is option A. Lost Lenore. Very good, guys. Answer is option A. Lost Lenore. All right. Okay. Fine. All right. So, moving towards the next question is here. Yes, in Shakespeare's Macbeth, who was ultimately right from his mother's womb? In Shakespeare's Macbeth, who was ultimately right from his mother's womb? So, this is an easy and catchy question from Shakespeare. So, we have the options. Option A is Macbeth. Option B is Macduff. 
Option C is Duncan and option D is Malkin. And I will give you a clue if you are confused. Yes, the answer is here. But A, B, A, B. Okay, fine. So, yes, he killed Macbeth. He killed Macbeth. Right? Yes. I need everyone's answer. Yes. Ankita? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's see the answer. The answer is, there is no suspense in this answer. Everyone knows this. Knows this. Mactiff is the right answer. Right? Yes. Moving towards the next question, guys. Yes, Prakash. Hello, Prakash. You are asking, you are uh, giving this answer. See, that is option B, Macduff. Okay. So, moving towards the next question. Next question is here. Alexander Pope revised the rape of the lock three times. In the final revision of the poem in 1717, he inserted a speech by whom? So, rape of the lock, which is a very funny epic poem by Alexander Pope. So, in the final, so he revised this poem three times. The final revision of this poem was in 1770 and he inserted a speech by whom? We have the option here, Belinda, Clarissa, Betty, Palestris. So, Sunita's answer is option B. Okay, so what about others option? Apart from, sorry, apart from Sunita, any other options? Guys, feel free to answer this questions. Yes? No options you have? Hey guys, you don't have negative marks in your examination. Please tell me an answer. I want, <laughs> I want to play from your side. Yeah. Yes, Clarissa, right? Okay, option B, Clarissa. Okay, all right. So, let's take the right answer. Yes, option B, Clarissa is the right answer. Okay, option B, Clarissa is the right answer. So, Sunita, Ankita, Shivani, we have discussed in detail about the rape of the lock in our bash life class. Don't ignore the session. Go and watch the classes once again and go through my PDF notes. Yes, next question is here for you guys. Identify from the following list two plays written by John Webster. See, there are two plays written by John Webster. Identify from the following list two plays written by John Webster. Yes, we have the options. A woman killed with kindness. Then the revengeous tragedy. Then the white devil. Then the Duchess of Malfi. Yes, option D, C, C, D. Okay. So, let us see the answer. Answer is option C. Yes, guys, White Devil and the Duchess of Malfi were written by John Webster. Then, moving towards the next question. The next question is here for you guys. Which of the following works by David Malaf? Which of the following works by David Malaf tells the story of the Roman poet Ovid during his exile in Tommy's? Which of the story, which of the works by David Malaf tells the story of the Roman poet Ovid during his exile to exile in Thomas. Yes, we have the options. Option A is Remembering Babylon. Option B is The Great World. Option C is The Conversations at Kerlocris. Yes, Kerlocrete. And option C is An Imaginary Life. Yes, what will be the answer, guys?
Yes, tell me the answer. Sunita, Shivani, Ankita, Prakash, Mariam, Mosmi. Yes, tell me the answer. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. Or let's discuss. Yeah, no idea. Okay, I can understand this question is something strange, but the answer is an imaginary life. Okay, answer is an imaginary life. So, moving towards the next question. Next question is here. In his defense of poesy, which of the following works does? Sydney comment as good examples of English poetry. That is English poetry. In his defense of poetry, which of the following works does Sydney comment as good examples of English poetry? So we have the options: the Mirror of Magistrates, then the Shepherd's Calendar, then Lament for the Makers, then Ballad of Scottish King. Ballad of Scottish King. Yes. P but not sure. Okay. P but not sure. Okay, fine. Let's check. Don't worry about. Yes, mouse me is. Mouse me saying option D. Yes, Mariam is op saying option C. Okay, multiple options are coming. Don't worry, the answer is option C. Okay, option C that is word 1 and 2. The mirror of magistrates and the shepherd's calendar. Okay, the mirror of magistrates and shepherd's calendar. Confused between C and D? Okay, don't worry. Okay. If you are in a confused manner, still just revise the things. Okay, in order to fix the things, just revise. Yes, another vibrant slide is here, guys. With C. Coming about the UGC Net Test Series, which I have been promoting in a multiple ways. Guys, why I am specifically saying this important test series is See, this is very impact, impactful thing in your result of UGC NET because the faculties, they designed the test series according to your UGC NET syllabus. From each unit, you will get 100 questions and its answers. Along with this, you will be provided with the recorded definitions, the recorded videos of lectures of faculties in order to clarify your doubts also. So, everything is in your hand. You have to grab the things. You have to pick the right things according to the right, right time. So, on the on right time, you have to pick the right thing. So, this is a very, very, very right thing for you guys. See, now we are offering you this test series. Only 50% offer. Only for 50% offer. So, guys, you will get... 299 rupees you will get the test package test series package with the amount 299 rupees so for computer science english management commerce economics geography and especially for paper one also you will get so guys here we will get you will get paper one and one side you will get paper one another side you will get paper two especially english is ready to grab okay ready to grab so don't be delayed guys make a call in our inquiry team they will give you the guidance to grab this of of sorry offer otherwise go on visit our website www.ifasonline.com inside this website you will get everything all right so don't be hesitated to grab this offer and go for multiple test series with its discussions also so that you will get a vast idea about the each unit all right okay 
So moving towards the next question. See, next question is who among yes, who among the following dismissed Ulysses as a misfire? Who among the following dismissed Ulysses as a misfire? So we have the options. Option A is Virginia Woolf. Option B is Wyndham Lewis. Option C is E. M. Foster. Option C D is D. H. Lawrence. D. H. Lawrence. Yes, tell me the answer. Yes, my dear ones, tell me the answer. Yes, Sunida, Mariam, Shivani, Ankita, A, but not sure. Okay, all right. Virginia Woolf. Okay, any other options? <coughs> Sorry, guys. Any other options? Option B with question mark. Okay. See, uh, Sanita Mariam, will you say to the uh, net examiner that option B with question mark? No, you can't say that like that, na? Okay. Yeah, the answer is option A. Okay. Option A, Virginia Woolf. Okay. Option A, Virginia was right. Okay, Sunita, fix your answer, Sunita. You are right. And Mariam, just think one more. The answer is very nearer to you. Okay. Yes. Next question is here. Next question is here. Which of the following works that which of the following works Daniel Defoe offered his readers as a Collection of strange, surprising adventures. Okay, which of the following works Daniel Defoe offered his readers as a collection of strange, surprising adventures? So, yes, option A is Boy Flanters, option B is Robinson Crusoe, option C is Roxana, not Roxana, that is Soap, <laughs> Roxana, and option D is Captain Singleton. Yes, tell me the answer. Yes, guys, tell me the answer. I want some answers, responses from your side. Only Sunita, Mariam are responding. Prakash, where are you? Mausmi, Ankita, Shivani, tell me. Yes. Option B, option B and option D. Okay, two answers are here, option B and option D. Okay, let's check whether it is option B or option D. It is option B, Robinson Crusoe. See, strange, surprising adventures. Just ask, understand the question. See, answer is hidden inside the question, guys. Strange, surprising adventures. See, Robinson Crusoe's adventurous workers, definitely, sorry, 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 sorry. Daniel Defoe's adventurous workers, definitely Robinson Crusoe, not Mall Planters, Roxana, Captain Singleton. So, we can guess from the question itself. Okay, so go for just like that. All right. Okay. So, next question is here for you guys. In Charlotte Brontes. In Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre, what does what does Mr. Brock, Mr. Brocklehurst accuse Jane of when he visits Lowood School? So in Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre, what does Mr. Brocklehurst accuse Jane of when he visits Lowood School? So the answer is option A, laziness. Option B is stealing. Option C is lying. Option D is spying. So, if you want to answer for this question, you have to read Jain Air. Jain Air is very important for your net examination. Yes.
so who was mr who was mr mr block dr hart and jane yeah? okay so the answer is option c all right so who is mr brocker hart in lowood school he is a supervisor okay he is a supervisor he is a supervisor of that school right okay so let's see the answer let's see the answer answer is option c lying very right answer answer uh, sunita so guys from this kind of questions what you can understand us you have to go through the detailed summary of each novel very important novels okay so they will ask some conceptual questions related to the novels the next question is here which novel by patrick white which novel by patrick white was based on the story of ludwig leichard that is ludwig leichard the Prussian naturalist who explored Australia in the mind 1840s, in which White's fictional hero says, when asked about navigation, the map, I will first make it. Okay, the navigation, the map, first make it. So, in which White's fictional hero says, when he asked about a navigation, the map, I will make it. Yes, do you have any idea? So, we have option, the tree of man. Option B is woes. Option C is riders in the chariot. And option D is the solid mandala. Option A, okay. According to Sunita, it is option A. All right, let's check. All right, let's check anyway. Okay, fine. Okay, the answer is option B, was. Okay, option B is the right answer, was. Okay, don't worry about that. This is just conceptual question. It is conceptual question. So, next question is, who among the following is not a character in William Golding's Lord of the Flies? So, William Golding's Lord of the Flies, who among the following is not a character in William Golding's Lord of the Flies? Yes, tell me the answer. Tell me the answer. Option C right option c peter okay option c peter okay all right okay option c okay yeah let's see the answer yeah option c is the right answer very good angida very good mariam very good sunida Option C is the right answer. Okay. Yeah. Let, next question is here. Next question is. Dante Gabriel Rossetti founded the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. Which included. Very important. Dante Gabriel Rossetti founded the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. Which included. Option A. Hallman Hunt. Option B is Arthur Hugh so, option C is Gerald Man Manley Hopkins and option 4 is John Millais. Yes, tell me the answer guys. Tell me the answer with full sync. Yeah, option B. Okay, option B is here for from Sunida. Option B, again option B, 1 and 4, right? Holman Hand and John Millais. Okay, let's see the answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see the answer. See, the answer is option B is the right answer. Holman Hand and John Millais. Option C is the right answer. Very good, very good, guys. Very good. Yes, moving towards again gate 2024. Guys, we are offering you 
apart from the series online test series we are going to offer you see for simply 99 rupees per month you will get for simply for 99 rupees per month you will get all the exclusive online test series for gate 2024 so you can prepare along with our online test series just like ugc net okay so don't ignore those messages if you are really an aspirant of if you are really as a real aspirant of gate 2024 just go and grab this opportunity okay yes next question is here the seven deadly sins are thought to be portrayed in chaucer's canterbury tales which of the following sins is not covered by chaucer so the question is the seven deadly sins are thought to be portrayed in chaucer's canterbury tales which of the following is not covered by chaucer so we have the options option a jealousy option b is envy option c is lust and option d is homicide yes tell me the answer guys yes option a is here option c is here all right option a option c okay any other options any other options guys no options okay let's discuss let's see the answer let's see the answer see the answer is option c okay option c is the right answer that is jealousy at yes homicide envy lust these two are there okay this two these two are there okay next question is here next question is samuel richardson's pamela had its origin in so samuel richardson wrote the first epistolary novel in english that is pamela the virtue rewarded and richardson's pamela had its origin in the real case of women born to lower middle class parents an elementary letter writing manual the general plight of english women the suggestion of a friend to defend middle class values yes tell me the answer guys tell me the answer guys yeah yes ankita option a the real case of a woman born to lower middle class parents okay then any other options any other options okay let's check the answer guys let's check the answer See, that is option b guys option b i thought you will answer this question the right answer you will tell i thought you would tell see an elementary letter writing manual guys this is the first epistolary novel in english as i said epistolary novel in english right epistolary novel in english guys see this is an experimental novel so the elementary letter writing manual is adopted okay just guess elementary letter writing manual is adopted by samuel richardson just guess guys just think okay yeah next question is here the medal a poem written by john dryden in 1681 a subtitled as what the medal a poem written by john dryden in 186 in 1681 a subtitled as we have the options option a is a satire against sedition option b is a satire against tyranny 
Option C is satire against greed. Option D is satire against apostasy. Yeah, tell me the answer, guys. Yes, tell me the answer, guys. B, not sure. Okay, again, not sure. Question marks. Okay, fine. Okay, any other options? Yeah. All right, fine. So let's see the answer. Answer is A, a fetter against sedition. This is very important. Okay, this is very important. You have to notice it a fetter against sedition. All right. All right. Okay. So let's discuss another question here. See, full fathom five thy father lies. Is an example of see full fathom five thy father lies. So, which is an example of which poetic device? As the nuns, alliteration, apostrophe, and enchantment. Very easy question. Tell me, guys. Sorry, everyone should tell this. Alliteration, Mariam. Okay, now Mariam opened her opened her. Mouth okay. Option option B Mariam. Okay. Yes. Yes. Alliteration. 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 Okay. Everyone knows. Can is everyone is very 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 comfortable with this question. Full fathom five thy father lies. Right. So this is alliteration. Full sound is repeating. Right. Full sound is repeating. So alliteration. All right. So next question is here. What is the talking? Again, poetic device. What is a talkie? So, if you know, yes, if you know the concept of talkie, then you can answer it. A two syllable food of verse with two heavy stresses, or a two syllable food of verse in which the stress falls on the first syllable, or option C, three successive heavy stresses, or option D, a six line stanza in which the rhyme sounds are of identical yes tell me the answer yes talky tell me what is talky Yeah, option B, again option B, yes, Akshi, after a long time, it was about to end our classes, then you joined, why Akshi, why like this Akshi, why you are not joining this, this 
क्लास ऑन टाइम ओके सुनिदा या अक्षय यस मरियम ऑप्शन बी राइट ओके या ओके लेट्स चेक द आंसर सी ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर ट्रॉकियस अ टू सिलेबस फूट ऑफ वर्ड्स इन विच द स्ट्रेस फॉल्स ऑन द फर्स्ट सिलेबस इन विच द स्ट्रेस फॉल्स ऑन द फर्स्ट सिलेबस ऑल राइट सो मूविंग टुवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कीट्स जॉन कीट्स ला बेले डेम सेंस मर्सी जॉन कीट्स ला बेले डेम सेंस मर्सी combines two poetic forms so john queens la belle dame sans mercy the girl without mercy combines two poetic forms option a lyric option b dramatic monologue option c ballad option d sonnet yes tell me yes you are coming from school so you are studying in school akshi in which standard you are studying <laughs> or you are a teacher in the school right yeah option c is here okay mariam is okay mariam is going with option c all right yeah okay let's see let's see the right answer here let's see the right answer here 1 and 3 right 1 and 3 option c is the right answer 1 and 3 that is lyric and ballad yeah option c is the right answer very good very good very good akshi yes guys guys as i always wanted to know what you know that see i want to see you among the stoppers i want to enlarge this list of toppers yes there are thousand plus selections in the previous exams but in this exam also in the coming exam also i want to enlarge this list with you guys so i want to see all my all my students as toppers of ifas that's my dream that's my ambition so in order to make our dream fulfill okay our dream true you have to do the right work on right time okay so just dial the number 9172266388 in order to get the all information about course lectures that is recorded course lectures or any other test series mock test any things you want to acquire just give a call in this number you will get all the details on time okay so moving towards the next question next question is here which narrator yeah which narrator highlights the problem of narrative authority which narrator highlights the problem of narrative authority so first person self conscious third person participant so the options are first person self conscious third person participant yes tell me the answer guys tell me the answer option a okay option e all right any other options any other options yes yeah let's check the right answer option b is the right answer c which highlights the problem of narrative authority that is self conscious narrator okay self conscious narrator highlights this problem okay next question is here next question is who among the following 
modern writers is associated with the quote only connect there is a connect which is only connect only connect who among who among the modern writers is associated with the quote only connect so we have the options option a is d h lawrence option b is virginia woolf option c is james joyce option d is e m foster yes tell me the answer guys c but not sure okay Any other options? Any other options? Yes, the answer is option D, E. M. Foster. So E. M. Foster is associated with only, that is only connect. Okay. Next question is here. Which of the following images? Which of the following images does not figure? In Auden's Musée des Beaux Arts, W. H. Auden's Musée des Beaux Arts. Which of the following images does not figure? So we have the options: a boy falling out of the sky, children skating on the po on a pond at the edge of wood, or option C, ranches of isolation and the busy graves. Or option D, the dogs go on with their doggy life. Yes, what is the answer for this, guys? No idea? Okay, no idea? All right. And somebody, somebody wanted to say the answer? Gussie, okay, Gus. No idea, no idea to anyone. Okay, let's see the answer. Option C is the right answer. Ranches of isolation and the busy griefs. Okay, ranches of isolation and the busy grief. All right. So moving towards the next question. Next question is here. Fester is the clown in which Shakespearean play. Feste is the clown in which Shakespearean play? So we have the options. Option A is Twelfth Night. Option B is As You Like It. Option C is The Taming of the Shrew. And option D is Much Ado About Nothing. Yes, tell me the answer. Yes, tell me the answer, guys. Yes. Option A, right? Option A, option B, okay. Option A, option B, option B, option A, okay. All right, so let's see. See, this kind of options are very important. <clears throat> this kind of questions are very important. See, right now the answer is option A, 12th night. So we can see a clown that is Feste in 12th night. Okay. Next question is here for you guys. Which play by Tom Stoppard, Stoppard, which play by Tom Stoppard has a play within the play? Yes, which play by Tom Stoppard, yes, Tom Stoppard has a play within the play. So we have the options, enter a free man. Option B is the real inspector hound. Option C is jumpers. Option D is night and day. Option C is night and day. Yes, tell me the answer, guys. No idea. Again, no idea. Again, you guys have no idea. Okay, fine. Yeah. See, the answer is option B, the real inspector 
hound okay option is option b the real inspector hound all right yeah option b is the right answer good guess good guess pinna good guess yes see again we have the options sorry we have the answer see which of the following question sorry question which of the following is not true for free words so you have to find out which is not true for free words that is which is not a characteristic of free words so we have the options option a is characterized by short irregular lines option b is no rhyme patterns option c is written in iambic pentameter option d is a dependence on the effective and more intense use of pauses yes instant answer from mariam option c written in iambic pentameter okay yes what about others akshi sunita ankita shivani mariam mariam is answer mosmi yes tell me the answer guys can i wait or can i tell the answer yes guys yes yeah moving towards the answer yes moving towards the answer answer is written in iambic pentameter very good see first meter means what it should be short irregular lines then no rhyme patterns free verse means no rhyme pattern then dependence on the effective and more intense use of pauses will be there so it is not written in iambic pentameter that is the right answer okay yes ankita so next question is here james thomson's long poem the season revised and expanded all his life began in the first instance as a poem entitled spring summer winter autumn yes try to try to tell the answer james thomson's long poem the seasons revised and expanded all uh, yeah expanded all his life began in the first instance instance as a poem entitled what so we have the options option a spring option b summer option c winter option d autumn if you like summer tell summer if you like winter tell winter i will tell you the right answer yeah yes c is the right answer winter is the right answer okay maria right answer is winter yeah very good maria very good all right moving towards the next question c two cantos two cantos from the seventh book of the fairy queen appeared post posthumously so posthumously means after the death of the author so who wrote fairy queen spencer right edmund spencer wrote the fairy queen so the two cantos from the seventh book of the fairy queen appeared posthumously they are known as option a mutability cantos option b is friendship cantos option c is justice cantos option d is courtesy cantos yes can you tell me the answer yes can you tell me the answer yes option d courtesy cantos okay all right okay let's check the answer let's check the answer answer is option a mutability cantos okay mutability cantos fairy queen all right 
Okay, so moving towards next question. Who who believes that the facts of history will protect protect us from what? So coming to the new historicism, Michael Foucault believes that the facts of history will protect us from what? So we have the options. Option A is repeating mistakes. Option B is totalitarianism. Option C is deconstructionism. Option D is historicism. Yes. Any idea? Any idea about the answer? Any idea about the answer? Yes, option A. Right? Option A. Okay, let's see the right answer. Option D is the answer. It is related to new historicism. So, definitely it is related to historicism, right? Savitri? Yes, Savitri. Option A is the right answer. Not option A, sorry. Option D is the right answer. Okay. Yeah, moving towards next question. What is the occupation of Max and Lenny in Harold Pinter's Homecoming? Rise in postmodern age as a dramatist from the list of dramatists, contemporary dramatists, Harold Pinter and the, his works are very important. So, birthday party, then the homecoming, these are very important. So, here Max and Lenny. What is the occupation of the character Mark said? Lenny in Harold Pinter's The Homecoming. So, do you know the answer? Do you know the answer? Yes? Any idea? Savitri, Mariam, Ankita, Sunita, no idea, no idea, okay, let's see the answer, see the answer, answer is C, it is a, he is a pimp, okay, he is a pimp, so don't worry about that, just go the brief summary, detailed brief summary of each works of Harold Pinter before going to your examination that is very important okay so next question is here your last last question is here try to answer this which Byron poem begins in the following manner I want a hero an uncommon want when every year and month sends forth a new one see yes Yes, which Byron poem begins in the following manner? I want a hero, an uncommon want, when every year a month sends forth a new one. So we have the options Beppo, Child Harold's Pilgrimage, Don Juan, The Vision of Judgment. That is about Byronic hero. Okay, that is about Byronic hero. Can you tell me the one example of Byronic hero? One example of Byronic hero, any character who is depicting the norms and conditions of Byronic hero? Yes, the answer here is Don Juan, right? Okay, let's see the answer. See, answer is Don Juan. Very good, very good. Answer is Don Juan. Okay, Don Juan. So, guys, Byronic hero, one example of Byronic hero, I have, yes, I told you so many examples of Byronic hero, but very, very, very clear. That is, yes, Heathcliff in Wuthering Heights, right? Heathcliff in the work Wuthering Heights, Wuthering Heights is the best example of Byronic hero. All right. So yes. So guys. So guys, with this, I am just concluding today's PYQ session. So that was your last question. So any queries, any doubts about you guys? About not about you, 
about this session guys. Yeah, Mariam Savitri, Mariam Savitri, Ankhida, Sunita, Akshi, Shivani, no, fine, okay guys, so I am just winding up today's session, so we will continue the, some more, some more about tomorrow's session, same time, same channel, so guys, those who are watching this live session for the first time, don't hesitate to subscribe this channel. Then only you will get all the notifications on time. So don't forget to subscribe this channel. Please subscribe this channel and come back in the live session on time so that we can discuss a lot of questions before going to your examination. So that's all about today's session. So don't forget to give me likes after watching this session and if this session is very useful don't forget to share this session to your friends and your co-aspirants so that's all about today so let's signing off from iofayers thank you so much bye guys see you